The operation of a reverse gear in an automotive transmission is shown in the figure. If the engine turns shaft A at omega A 40 radius per second, this one, determine the angular velocity of the drive shaft B, omega B. The radius of each gear is listed in the figure. So this is radius for G, RG, radius for C, and radius for D, radius for E, and then radius for H are similar, and radius for F is this one. So to answer this question, we are basically playing with the ratio. Let's start with radius A and omega A. So in this case, we can write this way. Ra times omega A equals to Rc omega C. So in this case, omega A is 40 radius per second. Ra is 80 meters. So we write it like this, 80 times 40, and radius of C is known, so we just put into the values here, which is 40, omega C is unknown, so things that we need to calculate, so omega C is this, so ultimately we can have omega C equals to 80 radius per second. Omega C is also equals to Omega D because we are sharing the same shaft. So this one is Omega C equals to Omega D equals to 80 radius per second. Next up um, is gear D and also gear E. In this case, we write it like the same pattern as this one. So it would be omega E and then radius E equals to omega D and then radius D. So we don't know what is the omega E value, so we put it this way. And then we know the radius of E, which is 50 meter, 50 mm. And we have the omega D which is 80 and also we know the radius of D which is 40 so when we finish calculating for this we have omega E equals to 64 radius per second and Omega E is equal to Omega F. So this is F, so it's similar. So Omega E equals to Omega F equals to 64 radians per second. Next, we are moving to H. We follow the same pattern as this one. Omega F times radius of F equals to omega h times radius of h here we can write it like this we have 64 here and radius of f equals to 70 and then omega h is unknown and we have the radius of h which is 50 and when we finish calculating for this we are going to have 89.6 radius per second. So since omega h or the gear h is connected to shaft b, so this is going to be omega b equals to omega h equals to 89.6 
radius per second.